Welcome to Friday Night Meta, a weekly series here on the channel. Thank you for tuning in where we give you the latest and greatest tips, tricks, and decks for newer players and veterans alike to stay on top of their game or enhance it nonetheless. With that, like I said, thank you for checking in. Down below you'll find the timestamps where we will walk through each of the formats, best of one and best of three, then we'll go ahead and pull it all back together for our outtake retrospective, as we always do. Now, if you happen to have a question, if you got a comment, the question about a deck, those fun things, let me know. I love to hear from you because we got a host of information available to you. And on top of that, feel free to come swing by the Discord server and say hello. Now, here's what we got going on this week. So again, bans, no impact in standard, um, some impact and stuff that are not arena focused. Now, with that, what does the meta look like? Well, it looks pretty similar um, to what it was last week. We do have a couple things in motion as always um, with Anthology and those fun things and obviously Lord of the Rings still moving around. Um, but here is where standard best of one resides today. First off, we got Mono White Human, Selesny Enchantments, Mono Red Burn, Mono Red Aggro, Five Color Domain, Zorus Control in there, Mono Black Midrange, and Mono Blue Temple. Now, as we scroll down, you can see the biggest one moving back up is Selesny Enchantments, um, and we see that Azorus Control continue to creep back up. Now, the win rate over time, Mono White had dipped and has been coming back up. In response to that, we do see Mono Blue Tempo going down, but we also see that five color domain rising in terms of those win rates. So those are all big things to pay attention to. Let's go ahead and mosey on over to Mythic. Not really much going on, but those of you in Mythic are playing Mono Black Midrange. So we'll keep it for the rest of the episode here because generally it's after 15 days or halfway through the season um, that there's enough people to get those stats. Um, well, let's go ahead to best of three. So come on, everyone. You got to keep moving faster. Um, best of three. Here's what we got at the top. We have Mono Black Control followed by Five Color Domain, Dimmer Midrange, Selesny Enchantments, Mono Red Aggro, Orza Midrange, Esper Control, and Mono Red Midrange. Now, again, there's the Banned and Restricted. Not much going on there. As you can see, we do see that Dimmer Midrange continuing to take off in terms of popularity. And that is continuing to move away from the pack, as you can see. Now, here down below, you will see, like we talked about, mono black control at the top. Everything else is pretty tight there in terms of those top four. We do see that Selesny Enchantments kind of coming back up, and then everything else uh, kind of falling off, as you can see. Now, again, real tight here, probably for those top four, definitely those top three, like we talked about, um, really defining the standard best of three meta. Let's go ahead and check out Alchemy. Alchemy here, we got Mono Red Burn, Rakdos Sacrifice, Grixis Midrange, Dimmer Control, Mono Red Aggro, Mono Black Nazgul, Five Color Legends, and Mono Black Midrange. Here we continue to see as things uh, trend over time, we see that Nazgul list going up, but that Dimmer Control coming down, everything else kind of holding steady. But when we do look at this win rate, we see a very, very nice rise in that Rakdos Sacrifice. Um, similar on the other trend here, or sorry, uh, Mono Red Burn and Rakdo Sacrifice, and then also kind of similar there um, on that Azor's Control. So we'll keep an eye on those things as um, we get more information here in August, and as we move to best of three, we got three main decks, Rakdo Sacrifice, Grixis Midrange, and Rakdos Midrange. Um, and then you can see kind of how those things are trending. So really, really kind of close there, close somewhat, um, but not at the same time. All right, so let's go back to best of one. Here we go into historic. So historic, here's what we got going on. Interesting to see a lot of decks um, currently under 50% in terms of win rate. On the top end, we do see is it Wizards. We do see Selesnya Squirrel Twin. We got Rakdos Midrange in there and Mono Green Elves. The rest is Ours Control, Mono Black Control, Teamer Gates, and that No Color Paradox Swarm. And then on the right, you can see heavily dominated by is it Wizards, Rakdos Midrange, Teamer Gates, and mono green elves. And then here you can see how things have been playing out. We see a nice bump in that team or gates um, as well in terms of play, but then again, win rates not so great um, between everything else that we see there. We do see a rise in that Selesnya Squirrel Twin. We also, again, is it Wizards doing well? And then same with Rakdos mid-range um, in terms of win rates. Let's go ahead and check out Historic Best of Three. Here in Best of Three, we do still have, is it Wizards? We got Dimmer Control, that Golgari Yagmoth. Um, also Naya Domain Zoo, Rakdos Midrange, Mono Green Devotion, Jun Midrange, and Teamer Gates here as well. Teamer Gates being one of the most played lists 
Um, however, not having a great win rate um, relative to what's out there. And again, you see this massive jump in terms of what's going on. Um, similar early gate Rakdos and early gate dimmer control and everything else kind of going sideways um, in terms of what's happening there and, and popularity. And then here we see, is it Wizards pulling up? And we do see Golgari, Yagmoth coming down. It did have a really, really nice run there. Um, but again, out of the gates, it's not doing as well. Yeah, get, get that one, gates, out of the gates. All right. If you don't, that's okay. All right, so that is historic best of three. Now we're gonna move into our last best one and best of three format with Explorer. So here's what we got going on in Explorer, Mono White Humans, Mono Green Devotion, Azorus Control, Celestian Angels, Abzan Grease Fang, Rakdos Sacrifice, Teamer Creativity, and Rakdos Midrange. Again, not super strong there. Um, in those bottom three, but heavily played here on the right, as you can see, really those top three ones, um, kind of three, three, and then the bottom two. And then as we look at this popularity over time, we do see that Slezen Angels popping off, um, Abzan Grease Fang, as well as Mono Green Devotion. Now, Abzan Grease Fang is notorious um, for getting a out of the gate usual, yeah, again, out of the gates, uh, usual pump uh, in terms of how that goes uh, for play. We do see everything else kind of falling down there. Um, and then here we do see that mono white humans doing a nice little arc and coming back up um, and everything else kind of eh, trending sideways or down. All right, now let's go ahead and check out best of three. Best of three in Explorer. We got mono white humans at the top, Rakdos midrange, Abzan Greasefang, mono green devotion, Rakdos sacrifice, five clear fires, teamer creativity, and Azorus lotus field. Now everything doing pretty strong and solid there. Again, we do have that Explorer anthology three that we talked about. Um, some movement and changes, again, team or creativity being a big one, um, continuing to track and see how that does. Again, popularity over time, Mono Green Devotion doing very well. Five Clear Fire starting to come back up. And then here you can see that win rate, Mono White Humans just moving away from the meta. Everything else kind of trending down or sideways and down um, in terms of what's happening right there. That's a big statement for us in Explorer. All right. Now on to the very last thing, we got Historic Brawl. So for Historic Brawl, we got the Troxa, uh, Grand Unifier, Rusko, Raghavan, Xenagos is still in there, Tali, the First Sliver, um, Emo Emoti, and Sauron. Sauron's still being less than 50%. Um, here on the right, you can see what's going on. Pretty tight in terms of that popularity again. And um, we do see that rise back up in Emoti. Um, as well in terms of what's going on. Now, again, trading between Atroxa and Raghavan, but we do see Rusko making a nice last ditch effort there at the end. We do see some of the other decks falling off, um, but Sauron was a little bit above 50%, but certainly finished below. Um, and Emoti not doing as well either. So that is our historic brawl. That concludes all the different formats, all the best of one, all the best of three. We're gonna pull it all back here. Um, as we always do. So again, no impact on the bands. We do continue to see some things move around. Interestingly enough, I will say um, a lot of decks, sub 50%, being very, very popular and having a lower, lower win rate um, in terms of what we would deem probably successful um, because you definitely want to be above 50 um, to move forward in your matchmaking. Um, or you could just win all the time and then lose all the time. And I guess that could kind of work theoretically. So <laughs> hope you enjoyed today's session. Thank you for tuning in for our Friday Night Meta. Again, weekly series here on the channel. I just want to say thank you. Thank you for your support. Thank you for the likes and the subs. Thank you to all the members, as always. Um, and great ways to stay connected and other ways to support the channel down below. That questions, comments, let me know. Come swing by the Discord server. We have a lot of fun there, a great active community. So thank you to everyone there as well. Um, with that, I hope you have a great week. We'll see you again next week um, with more of the latest and greatest as we always do. And until next time, we got plenty of great magic content and decks available to you here on the channel. Best of luck. Best of luck. Best of luck. We'll see you soon. Bethrus, out of here.